Aisha, I saw this post on Facebook and I almost didn't believe it was real when I first saw it. People were so upset about this after it was posted on a parent's Facebook page. This is a parent who has a child at a DeKalb County school and she saw this as she walked into school. It says appropriate hairstyles and inappropriate hairstyles with just post-it notes covering the face of what she assumed were children who actually go to that school. Uh, yeah. That really makes me mad. I'll tell you why, for a lot of reasons. One, all of that hair looks terrific to me. Mm -hmm. And it, it, to have pictures of students there, basically almost like shaming the children in the school for what I feel like shouldn't be shamed at all in the first place. I'm a little bit interested to see through what lens do you get the definition of what's appropriate and what's inappropriate right. and on what basis. Never has my hair impacted my ability to learn, my ability to be a standout student and to make it a thing I feel it's completely unnecessary. I mean, and sometimes, and at a point in time, my hair could have been considered unacceptable as well. And so with enduring that and going through that, for a child to put that burden on them with hair, they're worried about, you know, where their friends are gonna be, mm -hmm. whose class mm -hmm. they're in, finding their locker. They're not worried about that. And why would you put that on them at such a young age to say, we need you in this box? And that yes. is a really great point that actually one of the commenters on my Facebook page brought up. And I actually, I pulled a lot of comments for this one just because so many people were talking about sure. it. But some people said, hair is part of your expression. It's part of your creativity. And why would you want to stifle that, especially in young children? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. Other people said, what about people who have different colors hair or a mohawk? Or sure. why are none of those examples put up? So there were a lot of questions about why those images were chosen. And people just saying, again, it's not right to put that on a kid. Yeah, and get some stock footage. Yeah. Get some stock right? footage. Or Don't, draw it. Or draw it. Or draw yeah, it. If you're think, going to do that. Yeah, for me, the, the pictures of the kids there really stands out to me. And I know people make the argument that, you know, having uniforms can be good because it takes the comparison out. But, you know, that is one thing. You know, my kids have done either way. They've been to a public school that they have not had uniforms. And for a short time, they were at a charter school that did have uniforms. You know, I, I get that argument. Hair, to me, feels like a totally separate conversation, especially when you're talking about braids for little girls and things that are just culturally appropriate and needed in many cases. And let's be clear, there have been young girls, young black girls kicked out of school for wearing braids. There have been women who have had to, you know, file lawsuits against companies for how they choose to wear sure. their hair who determines what's professional or what's appropriate. And I think that's really the problem is who is putting this on to those students. And like I said, I just don't think it's something that should have ever been brought up. If you're talking about, you know, a t-shirt with a saying that could have mm -hmm. been offensive, but right. why and when and in what setting or what world is my hair offensive? And if you take it that way, I think the bigger conversation is why. And right? this is why? a school in Metro Atlanta. It'll be interesting to see what the district is saying because certainly they're getting a lot of uh, pushback about it as well. So the district did respond. I want to put the statement up here so you can see what they actually had to say. They said that this was not something that came from the district level. They said the images depicted in this post in no way reflect their policy regarding appearance. This was a miscommunication at the school level mm. and is being handled by school leadership. This is a charter school, so they say sometimes charter schools have the option to enforce dress codes and style standards. And that was the other side of the argument that some people were commenting on on my Facebook page was, if this is a dress code issue, then the dress code is being enforced. But to your point, Cheryl, hair shouldn't be a part of that. Shouldn't be a part of the dress code, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe it'd be one thing. I, I don't know. I, I think, think we're stumped. I, I think we're, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little stumped, and it's, it's, it's interesting that that's the district's response, and and I think maybe you know someone might argue it was good intentions, but they've got to really bring this poor, back. poor execution. And we, we absolutely sure. want to hear what you have to say please. about this on our Facebook page, on YouTube. Please add your comments so we can get into those as well. We want to hear what you have to say about that one. It has been yeah. a big discussion, yeah. big time.